Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday the somethingth of June and I thought it'd be fun to do a reading vlog for the next couple days, next week or so maybe. I have some fun stuff going on and I enjoy vlogging so here we are. So currently I am reading Kings, not Kings of the Wild, Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. This is about this bard who joins this group, this mercenary band, who's like this really famous band of mercenaries, and kind of the adventure that they go on as they are running away from what all the other mercenaries are running towards, and they're going to do a contract. I am really close to being done with this. I have like just barely over a hundred pages left. So I'm hoping to be able to finish it soon. Isn't that right, Brildin? Hi, buddy. Hi, you coming to say hi? Okay, say hi. And I'm also reading The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. This is John Green's first work of nonfiction and it is a book of essays that are like Yelp style five star reviews and he just goes through the human centered life and things that are a part of the human centered life and the human centered planet. It's actually really good so far. I also listened to the podcast before the book was released. I love John Green's writing. I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion now here on booktube where I feel like it is popular to dislike John Green's books and his writing but I actually really enjoy it and it's because he focuses in his fiction so heavily on the characters but that's beside the point because this is nonfiction, and as a book of like essays of like reviews each review is different and there are some I like more than others. The one that I just read last night made me cry because it talks about the movie Harvey and just like how it talks about it and the emotions it made me feel as I was talking about it. Even though I've seen that movie a handful of times and I have disliked it every time. Still, the way John Green talked about it made me cry. Also, I'm listening to the audiobook for Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. I am like three hours into this, I believe. So far, really good. I was a little bit nervous because I have two of their books on my TBR for June. So I was a little bit nervous about the writing style. And I wanted to start with Lost in the Neverwoods because that's the one I own physically. But I started with Cemetery Boys because it came in earlier than I expected from my library hold. In this book, we follow a trans boy named Yadriel as he's trying to prove that he is truly a, a boy and has the the boy magic. Sounds like a weird way to say it, but that he's a brujo and not a bruja. And in this, he ends up, like, summoning this ghost, but it is not the ghost he wanted it to be. And it's, like, his school's notorious bad boy, and so far, so good. I actually am really, really enjoying Aiden Thomas's writing. And I know this is a YA, but it doesn't feel like a YA in some of the ways that you kind of expect YA to feel, at least some of the ways that I expect from YA, it doesn't really have that. So I'm loving that so far. So it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm already done with work for today. The joys of being part-time. I actually just got my book of the month box delivered. So I thought I'd show off what came in there. I obviously already know what it is because I picked it. But I'm really excited for this book and I might have to squeeze it into my June TBR because it is Sky Falling by Mia McKenzie. 
And I've only read the synopsis for this once, so hopefully I can remember. But basically, this follows a woman as she's getting a little bit older. I think she's about middle-aged. And when she was younger, she donated all of her eggs. And now that she's older, one of the children that came from that egg donation and was like born after she donated her eggs tracks her down. I think using some sort of gene service like Ancestry, 23andMe, one of those types of things. That's kind of all I know about this book. It sounds really good though. And I might have to squeeze it in here. And it's perfect for June because, if I remember correctly, the main character is a lesbian. It sounded good. So that's what I got from Book of the Month. We should see what the bookmark says. Saved you a spot. How cute. Anyway, since I'm done with work, there's some things I need to do this evening before Philo and I go to our actually very exciting plans for this evening we are going to our local amusement park which I love we have season passes so we can go kind of whenever we want so random Wednesday afternoon we're going to the amusement park I'm so excited but before that happens I need to work on editing my video that's going up on Saturday, I need to take my cat for a walk because that's the kind of cat I have and I need to practice the piano. While I go walk the cat, which is actually the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to listen to Cemetery Boys and I will check in with you later. Look what I found today on my tomato plants. Just this little guy. There's two of them. Where is the other one? Oh, it's down there. You can kind of see it through the leaves. We have little fruits, I'm so excited. Good afternoon, friends. It is Thursday afternoon. I just got done with work and I wanted to give you an update on what I've been reading. Starting with Bloody Rose, I haven't been able to read a whole lot of this because we went to the amusement park yesterday, so I didn't have a whole lot of reading time. So I've only read about two more chapters in this, and overall I'm enjoying it. I have some issues with Nicholas Eames. One of my issues is he uses the C word, and I, I can't. Pretty much any other word I'm fine with, but the C word really, like, when I read it last night, I was like, I have to put the book down. So that's... That's that. I've also listened to a lot more of Cemetery Boys today. I'm now about halfway through and like it is really good. It is following a little bit more expansive of a story that I ex than I expected, but I'm actually really enjoying that and how the story is expanding and how the story is developing. I just think Aiden Thomas is doing a really, really good job or did a really good job past tense because they already wrote the book. I'm just reading it now. Anyway, really enjoying it. I'm actually really excited to read Lost in the Neverwoods soon. I don't know exactly when I'm going to pick it up. If I'm going to do it as soon as I finish this, I haven't decided. But I'm excited to read it once I finished Cemetery Boys. So right now I'm waiting for my lunch to be delivered. I ordered myself a sandwich. And while I wait, I think I'm going to watch YouTube. And then after that, I'm going to practice the piano and hopefully the guitar a little bit too. Then I'm going to read. This evening, we are going to a playoff game. A Utah Jazz versus the LA Clippers NBA, fine, NBA playoff game. So I'm going to try to get as much stuff done, especially as much reading done before that, because I do really want to finish this book before the weekend, since I only have about 100 pages left. But it might just have to wait until tomorrow afternoon, and then Saturday slash tomorrow evening I could start another one. But that's it for now. I'm going to go watch YouTube and read, hopefully. <laughs> 
Good morning, friends. It is Friday. I just pulled into the parking lot at my office. I have to go in today because we're working on a project. Lots of people from lots of departments are trying to help get this project done because we're trying to get rid of all of our physical files and kind of upload them. So working on that today, it's basically just scanning. So I should be able to get some good listening done to Cemetery Boys. We went to a basketball game last night, so I did not read. <laughs> really. I tried to read a little bit before we left, but I ended up mostly just watching YouTube and practicing a little bit. And then I didn't read when I got home because we got home too late. But today's the day for reading. Gonna hopefully get some good progress in Cemetery Boys, and then also Bloody Rose. I really hope to make some progress in Bloody Rose today as well. And I will update you after work. Hello, friends. It is now Friday evening. I got home from work and took like a three-hour nap, and it was kind of wonderful. So while I was at work, I was able to listen to more of Cemetery Boys, and I really enjoyed it. This book is so well done, and I actually left right as I was getting to some of the, like, the really good stuff at the end, and I haven't listened to any more since, but I'm really looking forward to, to wrapping it up soon, because it is getting to really emotional, intense parts. And Aiden Thomas, just so masterfully done to make you care about the characters so much. So everything has so much impact that's happening because you were just so invested in these characters. And I'm loving it. As for this evening, I have the Hawks Philly game on right now for the Eastern Conference Finals of the NBA. Uh, not the finals, but the semifinals. But in about 10 minutes, a WNBA game is going to start. So I'm going to switch to that once that starts. It's the Seattle Storm playing. Let's see. I forgot the team. But I like the Seattle Storm. They have Sue Bird, who is just amazing. So it's the Seattle Storm and the Atlanta Dream. So I'm going to switch to that. Watch more basketball. <laughs> We're huge basketball fans in this household. And during the commercials, I think I'm going to read a little bit of the Anthropocene reviewed in the commercials because it is a little bit easier to just like pick up and put down when basketball is on pause. So that's the plan, at least for right now, and I will check in with you later. <laughs> Good afternoon, friends. It is Monday afternoon. I'm taking a quick break from work because I just finished the audiobook for Cemetery Boys while I was working. And I just wanted to check in, let you know I finished it, let you know it was really good. I loved it. The audiobook was honestly so good. The narrator was fantastic. And I thought it was really interesting. At the end of the audiobook, there was like a little interview with Aiden Thomas. So the, narr the narrator, whose name I believe is Avi, sat down with Aiden Thomas, talked to them about their the inspiration for the book and like the process of writing it and things like that. And it was really cool. One thing I didn't know, but was really interesting to learn was Macmillan actually when talking about or not when talking about, but like when going through the process of picking a narrator, they went and only looked for people who were trans or Latinx. And the same thing with um, the cover art. That is something that Aiden Thomas talked about in this is when they were receiving like copies of potential cover art. All of them were either by people of color or by trans authors or 
some people who were both. So that was really cool to know about. I just thought it was really interesting to hear about the inspiration and I like the author interviews most of the time. If I think the author did a really good job in the book, I'm like really intrigued to hear what they say about it. If I didn't like the book, then I'm probably not going to listen to the author interview. But Cemetery Boys was so good, you guys. I loved it. And I don't know what else to say besides it is so good. And I think everyone should read it or listen to it. It's a really, really well done story. I think the one issue I have with it is it wasn't maybe as mysterious as I would have liked because there is kind of a mystery element but I thought that the mystery element was a little bit easy to figure out and I don't know like always with mystery elements I don't know if that's the intention of it's not really supposed to be that difficult to figure out because that's not the point of this story or honestly if it's just YA so you can't bury the lead as much as you would in an adult book because YA mysteries are typically always a little bit easier to figure out and as an adult with the perspective I'm looking at it with I'm going to figure it out faster than if I was a teenager reading it so I don't know I don't know what it is but yeah, loved it. It was honestly so good. I'm really excited to read Lost in the Neverwoods soon, but I have to finish Bloody Rose first. I'm so close. I have like 50, 60 pages left. Yeah, like 50 pages. So planning to finish that today, probably after work. And I'll update you about that later. Just wanted to check in. Cemetery Boys is done and it is really good. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday. I am in the kitchen because I'm heating up some refried beans to make tostadas for lunch. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I just wanted to check in real quick because I did finally finish Bloody Rose yesterday. And, you know, it was fine. There were parts of this book that I really enjoyed and parts of it that I was just kind of like, whatever. So, I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it and still kind of trying to decide how I feel about it. I honestly don't have too much to say right now because I'm not sure. There were definitely some parts, just some elements that I really, really disliked. And I just don't know if Nicholas Eames' writing style is like the right kind of writing style for me. But then also yesterday, something I really enjoyed, I don't have to think about it. I know I loved it. It's Moonstruck Volume 3, Troubled Waters. This was really fun. Yesterday ended up being kind of stressful with some stuff that happened. One of which was uh, the Utah Jazz game that we just lost and it was an embarrassment whatever I was stressed by the end of the day and after I finished Bloody Rose I was like I need something to relax and Moonstruck definitely helped it was super fun um the Moonstruck series this is volume three in a graphic novel series it follows this like college town where it's like a magical town too so we just follow a bunch of like magical creatures like centaurs werewolves there's a mermaid in this one and kind of some of their adventures that they go on and it is super fun as for what i'm gonna read next i think it's gonna be lost in the neverwoods it is in the other room i didn't realize that lost in the neverwoods was a peter pan retelling so we'll see how i feel about that i'm still pretty excited for the book i honestly don't read a lot of retellings though so I'm not sure what to think about the retelling. We'll see. I loved Cemetery Boys. And based on that, Aiden Thomas's writing is really good. So I think they can do the Peter Pan retelling well. But we're going to find out when I read Lost in the Neverwoods. And yeah, as for today, honestly, my only plans are really 
finishing up with work, practicing, and reading. I'm probably going to watch some WNBA, but that's about it. So I'm excited, hopefully, to get some good reading done. I might start another audiobook today. We'll see. I have two out from my library right now. One is called A Year Without a Name, and the other one is called Amberlow, I'm pretty sure. And Amberlow is, I think, a fiction story. I just remember finding it on, like, my For You page kind of thing on the story graph. It was one of my recommendations. And it said it was LGBTQIA+. So I was like, okay, we'll try it. And then A Year Without a Name is a short little memoir about being trans. That's kind of all I know about it. So might listen to that. It is like only five hours. So I might listen to one of those. I might not, we'll see. And I will keep you updated. Just a quick check in. I laid down on the couch to play uh, some video games. I'm playing Link's Awakening. And look who joined me. He's so content. Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday. I think I'm going to end the vlog today a little bit later after I hopefully do some more reading. I started... Oh, it got water on it. Lost in the Neverwoods last night. It has a little water drop. That's what I get for putting it on the kitchen counter next to the sink. But, um... So far, I don't know. Like, I like Aiden Thomas's writing, but this book so far just isn't as engaging to me as Cemetery Boys was. And I'm a little disappointed, but I honestly think it's just because it's a Peter Pan retelling, and like, I don't dislike the story of Peter Pan, and I don't necessarily dislike retellings. But maybe I kind of dislike retellings because most of the time when it's like, oh, it's a retelling, I'm like, eh, then I'm not really that interested. And especially with like Peter Pan, which I haven't watched the movie in how many years? Like, I don't even know. I don't think I've watched it since I was a child. Like, there's nothing about the story that really speaks to me personally. So I'm like not really that into the Peter Pan story. So like a Peter Pan retelling is maybe not the best book for me. But here we are. Like it's still pretty good. I'm not like actively disliking it. It's just not quite as good as I would have expected or would have hoped for it to be. Anyway, we'll see. I'm hopefully gonna read a little bit more. I think I'm gonna turn on an audiobook at some point today. Again, like I feel like I was saying yesterday. I'm not sure which audiobook I'm gonna listen to. I have two checked out from the library right now. And I'm just not sure which one I'm gonna pick. As for right now though, I need to go get to work soon. I am waiting for my water to boil to do my oatmeal. Also, I'm trying to convince my cat to eat something. Which is not going super well. Because all he wants to eat is food we're not supposed to give him. He's a stubborn little guy. Anyway, I'm gonna go work now and I will check in with you later. Good afternoon, friends. It is Thursday afternoon. I meant to wrap this up yesterday, but life got a little busy after I first checked in because we ended up having to take Brelden to the vet because he was not eating enough. I did get a clip of him trying to hide between mine and Philo's leg as we were waiting for the vet to come in to see us. Very cute. He is very scared, like most animals. So he just hides. He's not aggressive at all. He doesn't try to bite. He doesn't have any front claws. His original owners declawed him, so he doesn't have any front claws. So he doesn't try to claw anyone. He doesn't try to bite. He just hides, and it's very cute. But the real update that I wanted to get on here to talk about is I'm DNFing Lost in the Neverwoods. I've read to page 117. That's like a third of this book, I think. I think it's only 300 pages. Maybe it's closer to 400 pages. It's like 300 
in something pages. So I've, I've given it a pretty fair shot. I'm just not loving it. And it's really a bummer. I wish I'd bought a physical copy of Cemetery Boys because I loved Seven Cemetery Boys so much. And then Lost in the Neverwoods. I didn't know it was a Peter Pan retelling. And that is my downfall. Because, as I've mentioned, I don't really read a lot of retellings. It's like an opposite of a buzzword for me. If it's like, oh, this is a retelling, I'm probably not going to want to read it. Just because, like, there's no stories that I'm like, oh, yes. I want to read that reimagined. And then especially a lot of the stories that get retellings, I either haven't read or don't really love in the first place. Like, Peter Pan... I don't love that story to begin with. Same with like Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice has been getting a lot of retellings recently. I don't like Pride and Prejudice. Or then there's like the Greek mythology retellings. I know nothing about Greek mythology. So I retellings just aren't my thing. It is really sad though because Aidan Thomas's writing is really good. And I look forward to what they put out in the future. This was just a miss for me. And honestly, that's on me for not reading more into what the book was about before deciding to buy it. I was just so excited because it takes place in Oregon. But that couldn't make me power through it. I haven't decided what I'm going to read next. Probably going to end up reading the first volume of the Wayward Children series, Every Heart a Doorway. That's probably what I'm going to read next. But I haven't decided yet. But... You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel a little bit later this evening after I do some of the things I need to do. But anyway, in this vlog, I was able to read and finish the majority of Cemetery Boys. Also, Bloody Rose, which I don't have my copy of nearby. But, and I think that's it. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!